What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Haley. This is Robin Haley and this is another installment of Baking with Haley. Today's video is a cookie collab hosted by my friend Katie here on YouTube. Her channel is Life with the Love Days and she put together this collab where a whole bunch of YouTube ladies are making different Christmas cookies. So I've already gotten to see a few sneak peeks of some of the cookies and they all look so amazing and I'm so excited to see everybody's recipes. So there will be a playlist linked down in the description box below so you can go see all of the different cookie recipes that are being made. I am going to... Oh good buddy. I am going to attempt to make ginger molasses cookies. I am not a baker at all and have never made these before so we're gonna see how it goes and then I'm also gonna make some Christmas puppy chow. I can really... confirm she can't bake at all. Hey! I'm really excited to make puppy chow because I love puppy chow but I'm gonna start off with the molasses cookies today. You have to let the dough freeze for at least an hour. So I'm gonna make that tonight and then tomorrow I'll let it freeze, or not freeze, but chill overnight. And then tomorrow I will bake the cookies. And I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna make the puppy chow tonight or tomorrow, but we'll see. If you guys weren't here last year, I did a cookie collab and it was the funniest thing because it was my first time ever trying to bake cookies. Like that wasn't just from a pre-made mix. And it was so funny and I called it Baking with Haley and I've since done a couple other installments of that. And this is just another version of that because I literally have no clue what I'm doing when I'm baking. So we're just gonna do our best here. So yeah, before I get into the video, just wanna remind you guys to check out the playlist down in the description box and also check out Katie's channel. She posts all kinds of awesome grocery hauls, meal ideas, fun activities with her kids, hauls, all different type of stuff over on her channel. I absolutely love her channel and I will link that down in the description box below as well. Also, before we get into the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you are enjoying it. It really helps my channel grow and go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Join my YouTube family over here. I post all kinds of fun videos and I'm currently doing 12 days of Vlogmas. So new videos are coming out every other day and I'm just really excited for what is in store for my channel in the new year. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I am making these molasses cookies from this website called Crazy for Crust. I will link the recipe in the description box, but they are these soft and chewy Christmas molasses cookies. So we're gonna see how it goes. It seems relatively simple, so I think I'll be able to do it, but who really knows, honestly? Okay, so I have to start out by having a half cup of unsalted butter softened, and I actually remembered to take the butter out of the freezer and it is softened. So go me, already a win. And then three quarter cups of packed brown sugar and a third cup of molasses and I have to beat that together. And also if you were here last year for my very first one, I didn't even have a hand mixer. I had to borrow my mom's and she got me a hand mixer for Christmas last year. So now I have my very own hand mixer, which is wonderful, but I've only used it for actual baking a couple of times. I usually just use it to shred chicken. So I'm excited to use it for like a full on Christmas baking recipe. All right, half a cup of unsalt unsalted softened butter. That is a whole heck of a lot of butter, but I guess that's what Christmas cookies are all about. Oh, don't put paper in there. And my hands are all buttery. All right. And I feel like cutting it up would be a good idea. So we're gonna try that. We need a three quarter cups of packed brown sugar. I do know that you have to like pack it down. One baking thing I do know. All right, I feel like that's three quarter cups packed down. So we're just gonna go with it. And then a third cup of molasses. And I didn't know what molasses to get. So I just got this. I literally, I ordered from Amazon Fresh and I just searched baking molasses and this is what came up, so. That does not smell like what I thought it would smell like. Hopefully this is the right stuff. 
Oh my, that's sticky. It looks like tar. All right, so now we mix this up. Let's clean up a little bit. And the recipe says until the butter is broken up, but the mixture will still be lumpy. So that's what we're gonna try to do. I can't get it on. All right. Come on in, come on in. All right, I feel like that's pretty good. I'm really proud of myself so far. Okay, mix in egg and vanilla, and then add baking soda, salt, and all the other spices. One large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I never know what it wants me to get when it says large egg. Like, this is just an egg. Is this a large egg? I don't know, I don't think it's a large egg, but like, do people have large eggs? Do you buy large eggs separately? Actually, people probably know, I just don't know. No, we're out of paper towels. One teaspoon of vanilla. Ooh, that was a little bit much. Okay, so mix that in. And then it says add in baking soda, salt, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, nutmeg. Okay, so one teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Why are my adorable little Christmas Santa salt shaker? Isn't that cute? It's about a teaspoon. I know baking is supposed to be precise, but I'm just not a precise person, so that's why my baking doesn't always work. I think that's smooth. I would call that smooth. Okay, so now we have to add in two cups of flour slowly until the cookie dough forms. So I have a half cup, so I'm just gonna add in like a half cup at a time. flour this is getting so heavy to mix and I did an arm workout this morning so my arms are like ugh. All right that's one cup of flour. I'm also surprised I haven't sprayed flour everywhere. This is the most action my flour has seen in ages. You usually just use it for pizza dough. Okay, so how the heck do I get it off of here? Do I just like... Nope, nope, that was not a good idea. Alright, let's try something else. Yep, this is probably the better idea. Let's not just spray the dough everywhere, Haley. Alright. Oh! Okay. Well, that's okay. I think we're done. Now it should be good. 
Arthur's turn. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna use my hands. I'm fine! The Ross line, you know? The... I'm fine! I don't know why it's coming out all high and squeaky like that, because really, I'm fine. That's what I feel like right now. I'm fine! <laughs> totally fine! I, I don't know why it's coming out all loud and squeaky, because really, I'm fine. Not gonna lie, the dough on my hand kind of looks like if I got Mackie's poop on my hand, but that's okay. It's fine. Let's taste it. Tastes pretty good. All right. So this says, scoop two tablespoon size balls of dough onto a cookie sheet covered with parchment paper or silicone baking mat. No need to space them out. You're going to chill them. All right, let's set that up. Jacket's coming off for this part. So now I take this and chill for at least an hour or overnight. So I'm going to chill it overnight because it's nighttime and I don't want to keep, well, we'll see, but probably overnight. <laughs> Do you want to try the dough? Well, yeah. Just don't eat the like super flat here, eat it from here. No. You can't have all of that, that's too flowery. Flowers not good for you. Flowers are How's it taste? Pretty good. Very brown. Yeah. Well, it'll have cinnamon, sugar, and M&Ms on top. So. so, I decided I'm gonna make the puppy chow now, mostly because Rob wants me to make it right now, and I also really want it. So, let's do that. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter wonderland Chilling by the fire as I'm trying to get your attention I forgot to add in the vanilla, but oh well. Alright, I'm gonna do this in two batches because I only have one gallon Ziploc bags and I don't think it's all gonna stay. And that is how you make reindeer chow. Mm. It tastes so good. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow to 
bake the cookies. Okay, so it is the next day and I have the dough all chilled and now I basically just have to roll it in cinnamon sugar and bake the cookies. So I'm really excited to see how these are gonna turn out. Um, the recipe has M&Ms on top, but I'm not gonna put M&Ms on top because I want to just try the molasses ginger cookies. I'm also nervous because my friend Julie said that she tried to bake cookies like this and they turned out really bad and she's a way better baker than I am. So I'm really nervous to see how these turn out, but let's just, we'll, we're just gonna try. We're just gonna see. these they look so good look at those okay these look so freaking good all right let's try them so nervous to try these all right they're good they're they're pretty good i like that they're not as flavorful as i was hoping but i think that that's because I used a quarter cup of molasses. I thought I used my third cup, but I used my quarter cup. So maybe that extra molasses would make a difference, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I think I also baked them a little too long, but they're good. I give them like an eight out of 10. And the puppy cow is like 10 out of 10. I mean. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This definitely was less of a fail than I was expecting, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Be sure to head down to my subscription box so you can check out the playlist of all the awesome videos that all of my awesome YouTube friends did. There are gonna be some really awesome cookies on there, so go check out that playlist linked in my description box. And be sure to check out Katie's channel, Life with the Love Days. She has some awesome, awesome videos, and I am so glad that she hosted this collab because it was a lot of fun, and now I have some awesome sweet treats. So that's all I got for you guys. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Hit that red subscribe button. Join my YouTube family. I am doing 12 days of Vlogmas, so I'm uploading every other day and sharing all kinds of fun Christmas content. And I'd love to have you guys a part of my family. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.